I'm supposed to fight Enrico. You were, but uh, we found a last minute replacement. Going for the jackpot. Mr. Horn's offering 20 G's to the winner. No time for charity, kid. Go for it. This was coming, Ghost. You know our feelings, huh? You know when I make your face look like Burger King. I thought you were gonna take some time off. Yeah, well, I'm gonna persuade him to be a little wise. You know, see, I win this. He's taking me pro. Madison Square Garden. I won't do it. I ain't gonna fight you! What do you want me to do? I got no choice, Ghost! This is my ticket. Right here. Don't mess with that. You, my friend, don't fuck with my life. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? I said, what up, fellas? It's your man, your captain, your leader, the Shave Lion King. Bro, listen, I am feeling so juiced today, bro. I had one of those days, bro, where everything was just going so smooth, so perfect. My life is going so good, bro, man. The energy has been on point, bro. I've been out here connecting, bro, meeting so many new people, creating so many new opportunities, bro, for my life. I have been going to the moon daily on retention, and I am sick and tired, bro, of what I'm seeing in society, bro. It has got me so off the wall, bro, what's going on out here in society, bro. Society is so backwards, bro, and as a retainer, you come through here and you see and you catch it all, all right? You see and you catch it all. This is what I'm seeing on my retention journey daily. You guys, today, man, I saw something that threw me off so bad, bro, that I have to come here and share it with y'all, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. This world is fully radicalized, gentlemen. Okay, I know some of you think what I'm saying is not so, but let me tell you something, man. This world is over sexualized and radical, bro. Okay, when I tell you, bro, I was in an environment today, bro, and there was little up in there, and I'm gonna call them little because they below the age of 16. Okay, I see all these little out here bro okay 14 13 years old fully developed bro fully walking around grown wearing around clothes that they shouldn't even have on bro these girls start talking bro and these got tongue rings all in their mouth bro what? at the ages of 12 and 13 years old when i tell you bro that this world bro is going down it's going down this is a sinking ship in on guys and y'all need to wake up i'm seeing it firsthand bro with the youth they're our future bro and they're out here bro just as degenerate as our modern men that we got out here today who seems to think that he needs to release his fluid every single day just so he can release some stress i am so tired bro of all the people out here bro who ain't ready bro to put down all these devices who ain't ready bro to quit all of this bull crap that they doing in their lives and truly give themselves over to the most high and surrender bro and change their life around we have so much negativity out here we have so much hate out here bro okay people out here hating on people 
People out here used to be in love, bro. Okay. And now two, three years later, they hate each other. Okay. I see people out here that was just friends three, four weeks ago. Okay. And then a little something come up and now they hate each other. This is the type of energy that lets me know that all y'all out there who are vibing in this frequency are still playing with your sticky nuts and that little tinker bell in between the moist ass legs. This is what y'all is doing. Y'all are all in your low vibrational energy acting stupid. I can't even call you adults no more. Okay. I can't, I got to keep it real from telling you for what I see on the daily, bro. People are going down like a sinking ship, man. And this is why a retention is so goddamn important. This is why I take pride in what I do. This is why my voice carries the way it does because I'm up here really leading this thing. And I see a bright future. Okay, ahead of us for all the men, bro, who are taking this energy and cultivating and letting it rise up, bro, and then ignite that spark of kundalini that you're missing, bro. So you can come out here, bro, and show the world on what a true masculine representation, bro, of the defined, divine, divine masculine means. Instead, bro, you're going to be one of these other people out here continue to act like simps, okay? You out here playing around. You out here tricking off. You out here releasing your life force energy daily, bro, okay? And slowly, completely just destroying all of that forward momentum that you done built up, bro, for trying to do better. When I tell you guys that retention Okay, retention, bro, is the edge that every man needs. Then I'm going to tell you, bro. I'm going to tell you, bro. Okay, I am going to tell you that this is the only thing a man needs. Let me tell you guys something, bro. Let me tell you guys something, bro. Okay, as men, bro, we shoot for the highest level of whatever it is that we do. This is what we do as men, bro. Okay, we don't try to take nothing at the mediocre level, bro. We try to see how can we get it in, bro. And I want you to understand, bro, you need to have an edge in every aspect of life, bro, to get where it is that you're trying to go. And this is what retention is going to do for you. It's going to provide you that edge, bro. Okay. You're going to be able to harness this power, bro. Okay. This super energy, bro. Okay. This uncredible amount of energy that you have no idea that you have bro that is right inside of your body bro you're gonna tap in with this energy bro and you are gonna transmute this energy bro and put your focus and your vision on a completely another level do you understand that your relationships become better? Do you understand that your life becomes better? Do you understand that your business becomes better? Okay. When I tell you, you become the complete man. There ain't nobody out here that can mess with you. Boy, do I got some stories to tell y'all. Okay. Do I got some stories to tell y'all? Okay. You're talking to a real retainer over here. You're talking about every day is a movie. Okay. You're talking about every single day. There's something going on in my life. I have so much stuff that I could tell y'all, bro. That is just driving me, bro, with this fuel, man, to come on here, man, and express myself and let you guys know, bro, that I'm really out here in the battlefield and I'm telling you what I see every single day through these eyes all right and we got to do something guys we got to hold it down okay and this is why i want you to stay on your journey because it provides you the edge that you need okay you are grounded does anybody know what grounded means bro does anybody know what that really means to be grounded bro 
Okay, let me tell you what that means to be grounded, bro. To, what it means to be grounded, bro, it means that you're out here on the daily, okay? You're not letting nothing sway you off of your path. You're not letting nothing make you upset. You're not letting nothing ruin your day. You're not letting nothing, bro, stop you on your way to your destination. And this is one of the number one benefits, bro, that you get from seed retention bro is being grounded when i tell you bro that nothing bothers me i have all sorts of haters okay i have haters i'm doing big things i'm raising my vibration bro i became a whole nother person bro i became the man bro and all those haters, bro, that was sitting in the closet with their dusty ass boots on came out here to seek some more from me. OK, so I see them every single day. And let me tell you something that doesn't stop my role. OK, haters don't stop my role. They make me go harder. I take that hate energy that they spitting, bro, and I transmute and I come on here. And I spit that fire. I let the most high come through my body, bro, and express exactly what it is that he wants me to let the people know. Okay, I use that energy. So I applaud all you haters who come on my page every day, who troll, who do all of these things, who unsubscribe and subscribe to the channel. I don't give a damn what y'all do. You can't stop me. I am unstoppable on seed retention and you better get used to it because I'm over here leading a new revolution of man to the promised land. And when I tell you, bro, that every day I go out this door, I get so much respect. I wish I had a pair of goggles to show y'all. I work around all women environment, bro. Okay. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say whatever y'all want about women. Women are the bosses, bro. Okay. Point blank, period. I can, you can say whatever you want. They are the bosses. You know why? Because you're acquiescing to everything that it is that they want just for you to get some nookie. Okay. Instead of coming on seed retention, masculine, being masculine, bossing up, bro, not falling for no traps, not falling for no thirst traps, being a real man and having these women now chasing you. See, you got it backwards, bro. You've lost yourself, man. When you spill your seed, bro, you spill everything you need, bro, to keep you freaking masculine, bro. Okay. And this is what you guys don't understand this makes me extremely grounded bro okay nothing bothers me when i'm in this zone okay the last time i was in a relationship let me explain something to you i'm not gonna sit up here and point fingers in my last relationship and say i didn't do nothing i'm innocent well i'll tell you this okay i wasn't the one who wanted to break up how about that OK, so that should let you know where I was in my relationship. Nevertheless, I was able to be in this relationship coming off of a 20 month semen retention streak. And let me tell you guys something, bro. OK, this provided me that edge that I needed, bro, to take a relationship that could have easily fell apart, bro, within the first couple months that we were together, bro. And I made that thing right out for a year and a half. Not only changing the person what I was with because that was my objective. See, we think we're supposed to be out here getting with people, sharing energy with people, okay, just to be humping like some rabbits. That's not what we're out here to do, bro. I told you we out here to learn, bro. Every, a lot, life is a learning lesson, okay? Everything that you do in your life is some sort of lesson. What did you learn from it, okay? And I happen to provide in this relationship, okay, knowledge, okay, that it was going to help someone out regardless of what, how our situation ended, bro. And just for the fact, bro, that I could keep it together, okay, there was times that it could have fell apart, like I said, within the first couple of months bro okay but i stayed focused okay i stayed in my lane i stayed masculine bro i didn't let nothing sway me and next thing you know the whole energy of that relationship changed and this is the same thing i got going on in my life this is the same thing i got going on in my life guys i work with all 
women who hold high positions do you understand what i'm telling you y'all should know because y'all know how it is when you run into a woman boss okay i have woman bosses all around me bro okay so when i tell you bro that my energy bro is carrying me through this environment and not only has me in a place where i stay in my frame and i know my place where i also heavily respect by the opposite sex some you negroes will never understand because you haven't went on your journey yet and understand and learn what it's like to work with the divine feminine okay but i'm on that journey i'm on that route i'm on that mission and what i've been going through bro is i've been learning a whole lot and all this is doing is enhancing me bro it's enhancing my ability bro it's making me a better communicator it's making me the hottest thing on the menu when i tell you i get looked that like a piece of steak because i'm doing everything different you best believe what i'm telling you guys semen retention has made me the man i always wanted to be bro and thanks to a hater a very extra special hater in my life you have made me great do you understand what you have done? And the more you keep hating me, I promise you, the harder I'm going to keep going, the farther I'm going to get. I promise you I'm going to the top. Mark my words. I promise you I'm going to the top because everything that I'm bringing, bro, comes from an authentic place of passion. I'm acting my real character up here, bro. I'm not up here capping. I'm on two years, bro, and six months of semen retention. Okay, I know there's people out there that can't even make it 90 days. I'm on two years and six months of retaining my seat. What kind of energy do you think I got in me, fellas? Okay, I got that fire. I got that prana, bro. And everywhere I go, bro, this is the environment, okay, that I create eight okay it's my magnetism bro okay i can't help what it is i decide to do with my sexual life force energy and now it's working for me okay this is why i want y'all to take it serious man okay because i ain't got time to stay up here and keep playing man i ain't got time to keep coming up here and telling you bro that this is really the truth man okay this is really the truth bro okay i am telling you every single thing that i have told you bro is the hundred percent absolute no cap facts okay and i know it make you little haters mad and hurt your stomach oh he's he's getting so much attention oh my god man he's slim oh my god he's got a 29 waist look at look at those six pack abs where did he get those oh my god all you haters are mad okay because you're still sitting in that low vibrational energy playing with those sticky nuts and in between the moist ass legs playing with that little tinkerbell okay if you were just to stop all of that negativity man all right and turn that energy around and redirect it up bro you'd be sitting here vibing on the same frequency of me and we could get along and have a very very intellectual conversation and get to know each other okay but other than that man i can't tell you guys i cannot tell you guys bro on how this has made me the most stable man when i tell you this is the edge of all ultimate edges i cannot make this up now this last point that i want to tell you guys okay i really want to tell you this last point i really want to tell you last point bro because this just happened to me two days ago i tried to come on yesterday but the live didn't work for some reason all right i tried to come on live and tell y'all what happened yesterday on my mama i did okay but some for reason the live didn't work so let me tell you guys what happened on my semen retention journey yesterday so i'm at work just another exciting day just like today i just told you what happened today that day was exciting as hell bro exciting as hell i had so many women complimenting me bro i don't care what y'all say bro that is the biggest compliment ever i don't need no compliment from no dude ever i don't care what you think about me i ain't trying to make it right with you i'm trying to be presentable all right to these goddesses out here i want to be respected by the women on a different level i want to have these women and their ability bro to attract around me you fools is ignorant okay y'all don't understand energy yet and i'm sorry and i know this is gonna go right over your head and that's fine okay but 
I like to have that energy around me, bro. It makes me a better person. It inspires me. Okay. It gives me energy. I don't even have to get physical with them. It's their presence. It's the energy. And it does something to me, especially when I'm in a work environment, bro. When I tell you I have my head down and I'm working harder than I ever have, bro. And I'm learning more than I ever have, bro. And there's no pressure, bro. And I'm focused and I'm calm and I got support, bro. I feel like I'm at home, dude, okay? And I could never, ever see myself going back to working around a bunch of dudes, bro, who don't know themselves, all right? Until you have mastered this journey, guys, all right? It is important, man. It is extremely important, bro, to protect your energy, all right? This last thing, bro, that happened to me, let me, let me explain this to you real quick first. First of all, a lot of you guys know that semen retention, okay, it naturally optimizes your T levels, okay? It naturally optimizes your T levels, okay? And here's the thing. Not only does it optimize it, it boosts them, okay? With the first week of semen retention, bro, you are getting an increase of 140%, bro, on your testosterone. Now, I want you guys to think about what I just said, okay? I want you to think about what I just said, all right? It naturally optimizes your T, bro, okay? And then the increase of 140% in the first week. Now, I'm at work. I'm at work. Minding my own business, okay? Minding my own business. Let me explain something to you guys. I'm not a guy that shows out. I'm not a guy who walks around trying to show off muscles. I don't even, I don't even think I'm big right now. I've been freaking eating vegan for three months. And I've been fasting and detoxing. I've lost so much weight, dude. I'm like a, I'm, I think I'm like 179, 180 pounds right now. And I mean, right on the dot. Okay. I lost about 15 pounds, bro, over the last, I would say, I don't know, three, four months. Okay. I've lost about that much weight. So I'm in the shop. I'm not, I'm not sitting there trying to act all big and buff and tough because I'm the only guy in there. I'm not trying to act like that. So I'm sitting at the damn desk. This dude walks in, bro. And as soon as he walks in, bro, he's making eye contact with me. Now, many of you guys know that look. Many of you guys know that look. Come on, we guys, we fellas, we know that look. We know that look when we see a dude that's either know some stuff because that's why he's staring so aggressively. You know what I'm saying? He want he wants you to try him type of personality. We know those looks. We know how to analyze. So this guy is dead eye me, bro, from the door. And I'm, 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 mind you, the door's a good 40 feet away, bro. And he is just like dead eye me, bro, all the way to the desk, man. He's eye contact all the way to desk. So I didn't break the eye contact. The minute he gets up to the desk, bro, he's all sizing me up. Okay, I'm telling you guys the truth, bro. He's all sizing me up, bro. And I'm like, just looking at this dude, like, he's a pretty big dude. You know what I mean? But again, man, man I, I don't have no fear. And it isn't because of, you know, semen retention. But I just, I've, I've conquered that a long time ago. I don't fear any man. Okay, I've been, uh, I guess, some of the most strongest elite men in the world. Okay. And I've knocked some strongest men, elite men on their asses. I have done that in my life. So I, there's no man that scares me. I don't care how big you are. I know how to protect myself. So this guy comes up, like I said, and he's, he's eyeing me, bro. And now this is where the story kind of changes because he just starts blurting out stuff. He starts telling me he lifts weights and he starts flexing his bicep. He asked me to fill his chest, bro. I'm not even, I'm not capping you. This is, this is all the straight truth. Okay. I'm like, this dude is doing too much, you know, cause I got customers like I'm trying to get him out of the way, but he keeps talking. You know what I'm saying? So there's a, you got a picture. There's like 20, 25 people in there. Right. So he's standing in behind bro. And he's just like, you know, just not trying to move. So I'm, he sees that I eventually trying to get him out of the way. So what that he does that kind of violates this whole situation is he reaches out, bro. And he puts his hand on me. 
Okay, now he puts his hand on my chest, like he's like kind of like pushing me softly uh, with his hand on my chest, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like this dude is like, first of all, he's flexing on me, showing me he's bigger than me, and all that. Cool, bro. That's great. You're you're a big, strong dude, you know. But you cross the line when you start putting your hand over the counter and and pushing my chest. Like he's testing me to see if I'm a punk or if I'm soft because you guys know how I dress. I dress like a dude. I I dress like I dress like Clark Kent. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. I dress like Clark Kent. I even have the Superman curl. You guys think I'm joking, bro? Okay, and that isn't because I I thought it was Superman. It's just a natural curl that came down from my head. I I legitly have the Superman curl. If you look at any of my pictures, go look. Okay, so I'm sitting there, and this dude reaches over the counter. He like hits me, right? And I'm like, this dude just pushed me. And here's the thing, bro. All the women in there are kind of like looking at me like, how am I going to handle this? You know what I mean? Are, am I going to get this guy to go to the back of the line so I can get to the next customer, right? So I finally was like, okay, man, I, I, I got you down for your haircut. Just just take a, a seat over there and let me get to the next person and I'll get to you. So he steps aside, but he doesn't walk completely away, okay? And as I'm helping this next customer, he still kind of talked to me. He's like, he's like, man, yeah, man. He's like, you want to come over here real quick? I want I want to see what you got. This guy literally told me he wants to see what I got, bro, on my job, okay? I kid you guys not, on my job, after all that little talking to this, he now steps to the side and tells me he wants to see what I can, what I got. So I helped that last customer. I got the customer to go sit down. I turn around to go back to my station because I got to get ready for the next customer. So I go back to go to my station. The guy steps from behind the counter, bro. I kid you not, guys. He steps from behind the counter, bro, and says, come here, man. I want to see what you got. So I look at my boss. Okay. My boss looks at me just kind of like, I don't know. Like she just kind of looks at me like, I don't know. So I said, okay, man. So I followed the guy towards the door. All right. So we walk towards the door, bro. And he turns around and now he kind of like bends down like a wrestler. Now here, this is what I want you guys to understand. I've wrestled. I was a very, very, very good wrestler. Okay. I'm not kidding you. I was a very, very good wrestler. Okay. So I'm just going to have that in your mind as I'm going over to the door with this guy. So I'm walking over to the door with this guy, bro. He turns around, he drops down in the wrestling stance. And I'm like, this dude is really doing this in front of all these people, bro. Like he's really doing this. You guys, he's going for it, bro. He wants to make me look bad, bro. In front of all these girls, I'm telling you, this is what it is. It's like, I'm the only alpha in there. So he want to make me look bad. This is what I thought on a very um natural level this is what i was sensing it was like he was trying to punk me so he bent down bro i bent down okay now we're reaching and grabbing each other from a wrestling stance you know how you're a wrestling stance you reach and you grab each other's arms you try to grab each other's hands and try to get control for you can get position so i'm doing that and as i'm doing that i'm noticing this dude is bigger way bigger than me you guys okay and he made it quite apparent that he's a weightlifter okay he, he when i tell you way bigger than me i'm not capping and he told me his weight after all of this went down so i'm sitting there and he's reaching for my hand and i'm like noticing how much bigger he is than me all right but what i'm also noticing is how slow he is <laughs> <laughs> my bad y'all <laughs> but it's the truth i was noticing how slow he was bro and i'm like i'm about to do i'm about to do this dude dirty that's what i was thinking in my head but i didn't expect it to have the effect that they have and this is how i know this 140 percent and you optimize your t naturally is absolute bonkers shit listen to this so I'm reaching, he's reaching, I'm reaching, he's reaching. And I said, okay, bro, he's, he's, he's trying to like reach for me so he could get me with his weight. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to jab faint, like I'm going to go at him and then I'm going to reach and grab his left arm. And when I reach and grab his left arm, bro, guess what he's going to do? He's going to cross and try to reach with his right arm and grab my left arm. So I faked like a quick fake, like uh, I got him to freeze a little bit and then i reached my hand like i was going to go and grab his left arm and when i did that 
Surely enough, he reaches with the cross arm, which left his fucking leg wide open. Now, guys, this is the shit that I'm trying to tell you is is the straight up God truth, bro. And I cannot make this up what happened. Okay, so when I saw that. It was a quick, it was so quick, you guys. It was as soon as I saw him do that, I dipped below. I didn't touch my knee on the ground. I dipped a little bit and I reached down and I put my whole arm, bro, around his under quad and I picked this dude up over my head, bro. You guys think I'm bullshitting. I picked this dude up over my head, bro. Okay. And almost straight up body slammed him on top of his head. But I stopped hella quick because I realized what I was doing. It was so quick. It was like one of those things that you just know it without doing it. I didn't even know what the hell I did. It happened so fast and only thing i realized is once i had him up over my head and i looked at the back of the store and i see my boss and all these ladies looking at me (laughs) so i sat this dude down bro okay and i was like i'm sorry you know what i mean i'm sorry and he's like no i'm sorry he's like because because he was the one that was starting all this stuff bro right so i shook his hand i fixed my clothes and i started to walk back to my station and the shop was hella quiet at this point. <laughs> Everybody saw it, bro. They were hella quiet. They did not expect it to go down like that. This dude is bigger than me, bro. Okay. And he looked way bigger than me. He looked way more aggressive. He looked like the alpha, bro. I'm telling you, I look like a, I look like Dylan off a of 90210. Okay. I'm Mr. AKA. They used to call me pretty boy Floyd in high school. Okay. Ask anybody who know me. Okay. But I always had that power, bro. I always had that power. And that's how I got my respect coming up out of high school and into college, bro, because I had power. I was a skinny dude that would knock you out. Okay. I've always had that power, bro. But for the simple fact that this dude ended up telling me that he was an MMA fighter. Here you go, guys. I'm telling you guys the, the truth, man. This guy was an MMA fighter, bro. Okay. Show me the credentials. And he also weighed 210 pounds. So he told me that he weighed 210 pounds. He was taller than me. I'm six one. So he's maybe six one and a half, six two. He was taller than me. Okay. And he outweighed me by like 30, 40 pounds, bro. Okay. And I picked this dude up over. Come. If you think I'm joking, come, come see for yourself. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm a pretty strong dude, but I didn't know I would lift him up like that, that quick and that fast, bro. And could have easily ended him in front of the shop, but it wasn't, it wasn't the situation like that. It was supposed to be, we were messing around, but he was punking me to a level where I just kind of got defensive. You know what I mean? And I just, you know, I reacted. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because this to me is a testament, bro, to the 140, you know, percent increase of testosterone. You guys, let me ask you something. If I have been retaining my seed for two years and six months, okay, is there a possible way that I have a super built up level of testosterone that I have not tapped into? When I tell you guys that this was a a, a six sense movement, bro. It was instantaneous. It was so fast. It was something that I've never done before. I never done that to nobody before. I'm telling you guys the truth, bro. I've never done what I did to this dude to anybody before. Okay. It was so fast. And it was like, it was like I was, it was like I already knew some form of martial arts or some form of, um, you know, self defense, bro. It was like I watched a video like 10 years ago and I was able to remember what the video showed me and I pulled it off. Okay. And to me, man, it blew me away. Now here's the biggest kicker. You want to know how impactful this was? Let me tell you the biggest kicker. So after that happened, I'm pretty sure my guy was kind of embarrassed. You know what I mean? Because he was the one you know, bringing that situation to me and I basically had to react. Okay. But after that, bro, he came up to me like three or four times, guys, I'm not kidding you, bro. He came up to me three or four times after the situation, bro. He's, he, he wasn't even there getting service anymore. He was still there just so he could talk to me. I kid you not. So he pulled me over to the side. This is how I found out how much he weighed. This is how I found out he was an MMA fighter. This is how I found out he's about to have a fight coming up soon. This dude tried to ask me to come and train with him. I was like, dude, I don't fight. 
I was like, dude, I'm I'm 44, fool. <laughs> I don't fight, bro. I'm past all that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was just one of them things, man, that I just... <laughs> It's going to be one of the best retention stories, bro, that I have ever had happen to me in my life, bro. Okay. And, and, and there's no other explanation except for the simple fact, bro, that that was built up testosterone, bro. Okay. And the, the adrenaline that my body spark ignited that, bro. And I got this burst of superpower, bro. When I tell you, I'm not kidding you guys. All right, bro. <laughs> I, man, bro, I couldn't believe what I did, you guys, okay? I couldn't believe I did it with that much ease. We're talking about a 210-pound man who was in a squatting position, okay, weight on his, you know, back foot, you know what I mean? Not meant to be moved, and he was completely picked up, bro, like he weighed, you know, 100 pounds, if that, all right? And this is what I am producing from the fruits, okay, of my retention, bro, all right, it's just one of those things, bro, that signifies, bro, that this is real, okay, I, I've just gone over so much stuff, bro, just what it does to you, and I'm telling you guys, man, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> this life, man, and everything that I'm going through right now is unreal, okay, is unreal, and the funny thing is, man, Everybody out there could be living the same life, bro. I promise you. If you, I gave you the blueprint. If we're all the same and I gave you the blueprint, why is it that you're still having trouble, bro, finding your way? I've given it to you. You got to be willing, you guys, to give up everything to succeed and to make it, okay? And the reason why you need to give up everything to succeed and make it, bro, is because you have to relearn, bro, okay? The real true way to live life. See, the problem is you guys come into this with all your, your you know, your, your, your programming, okay? And all the stuff that you don't learn that you, you don't, you accept it as facts and that ends up hindering and stunting your growth. And this is why you may not receive some of these high benefits, okay, like some of us true retainers are who actually meditate, who actually are vegan, you know, who actually, you know, perform Tai Chi exercises, you know, you got to understand this isn't just a practice a normal Joe is going to be able to go on, okay, and get profound benefits, bro, okay? You really have to give yourself over to the unknown, okay? And when you decide to do that, this big fucking door of heaven opens up in front of you, bro. And when I tell you, you could go left, right, up, down, Y, B, X, A, select, start, you could go work ever you want and, and whatever you vision bro just like the muppet babies told us bro okay use your imagination at this point okay because you are holding on to that spark of life and you don't understand that that spark of life actually creates okay creates life right so that is your manifestation power okay anytime you want to create something harness your energy okay conserve and preserve your spark okay stop wasting it and i promise you bro that everything that you thought that you could not obtain will just flow to you bro like the prettiest most quiet river that you've ever seen okay and it's endless all right as long as you stay focused as long as you tap in as long as you practice this self love okay and really really honestly stand by it and hold yourself accountable there is no limit to what you can do all right there is no limit to what you can do okay and i'm living this life in full proof bro okay the last thing guys the absolutely last thing bro which doesn't even matter because I figure if you're one of these people, bro, who actually really, really want to leave behind your mark on this world when you leave, and I told you that's what I'm all about. See, the thing is, man, I've been around such, you know, people who have a lot, all right? And one thing that I've never, ever, ever had and why these people like me is because I'm not a jealous person. I've never been jealous of anybody, 
Okay. I can't think of the last person I was jealous of, bro. I'm talking about if I was jealous of somebody, it was back in like sixth and seventh grade, maybe. Okay. I was the type of person I've always had something. I've always had something going for me. So I've never had that, you know, that jealous type of, you know, vibe to me. And now, especially now I'm on retention. That's like the number one thing to go. Okay. Because I'm no longer in that lower energy. And I see why people like me. I'm the most like person, bro. Okay. I'm telling you, man, come see me, bro. Come meet me in the real life. Go ask somebody who knows me. And this has nothing to do with being cocky. You little haters stop thinking in your low vibrational energy. This is because bro, I am walking around in this Christ like energy. It is the facts. Do your research. I am walking around in this energy, bro. And this energy has a way, bro, of having people open up to you, especially within confined spaces. I told you what happens, bro. Okay. Just imagine having a frequency, bro. Okay. Of love resonating right next to you. Okay. With no other distractions, no other energies pulling on your energy. This is why these people that are in my work proximity resonate with me. Okay. And I bring out the best in people as well as other people bring out the best in me. Okay. It's like, I'm the battery of the scene, bro. Okay. This is the life of the retainer. There is no better. Okay. This is the ultimate edge. Fellas, stop playing with yourself, man. Stop playing with yourself, bro. Become that man on the front of the magazine, that GQ model with that chiseled ass jawline. Okay. With that big ass bank account with all them zero that go out the damn back of the door. You so rich, you spending your interest. You so rich, bro, that you make it a thing to go around every single person that you meet every single day that you think needs something, you give them a $100 bill. That's the type of life, bro, okay, that people could acquire, man. When they understand that they have this Christ-like energy inside them that is destined to make them the greatest human being walking on this planet. We all have the ability to be a Christ being. There is no Christ here right now. He ain't coming back here. He ain't coming back here to save nobody. Y'all are all in your lower energy, bro. He's not coming here. He's waiting for you to save yourself so then you can go and see him. It's the way it works. So you guys need to stay focused, man. Fix your life. Change your life around. Make your mama proud. Make your daddy proud. Represent your bloodline. Destroy all of these generational curses, bro. Okay? And create a new avatar and own it. Don't care what nobody thinks about you. Love yourself. There is nothing more positive and more powerful than that. And I promise you, one day you'll be standing up, bro, with your foot on the world, looking down on everybody else, bro, and understanding how far you came to get where you got. And I put that on my mama. I love you guys, man. I'm about to dip up out of here. You guys do me a favor, man. Hit the damn like button for your boy. Hit the damn like button for your boy. We got so many haters, bro. We're going to do one thing, bro. When you come into these likes, bro, and when you come into these lives, bro, hit the like button. That's so easy to do because what we're going to do, bro, is we're going to start getting these videos up in the algorithm, man. I have to start doing it, bro. I'm the only, I'm the realest retainer on here, bro. I don't care what nobody says. This is no cockiness. I'm the realest retainer on here. I'm the one who's going the longest currently. I'm the one who's been consistently talking about the same topic, bro. Okay. I'm the realest retainer, bro. And we need to keep this going, man. I plan on bringing all sorts of, of new value to this channel, man. And y'all got to do y'all job. And all it takes, bro, is to hit that like button. So I appreciate you guys. Guys, man, I'm about to dip up out of here. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace, fellas. I will not stage. Fail, even if I must sacrifice my life.